So, Cousins Maine Lobster, what's most important to me and Save growing up with our families was just that. It's family, it's Maine, it's our roots, it's where we're from. So the reason we started in Los Angeles was bringing this Maine delicacy that we were so fortunate to grow up with out to a place where it didn't exist, where it wasn't accessible and certainly not with the quality that we have. Um, so we started there, we're now in 13 cities and so happy and lucky to be back here in Maine with our families or with our crazy mothers this weekend. Launching Cousins they drink Maine a lot Lobster, of Maine, a lot of wine. So a lot of wine. Yeah. Um, and so today we're actually getting the key to the city in Portland. Yeah. Today the mayor of Portland is giving us the key to the city, naming it Cousins Maine Lobster Day. So like, it's like, give me the key, right? Like, give me the key. key. It's like, what do I do with this key? I don't know. I don't Open know. Maybe, the un city? maybe unlock my unlock my heart. Oh yeah. Yeah. Feels kind of fun. Don't unlock my heart. That's not a song. You oh. just made that up. I thought it was. But we're getting a key to the city. The mayor of Portland's giving it to us, and that means we hey. get free pizza hey. Hey. and beer hey. the whole night. Knock, knock. Uh, yeah, hi. Is the door open? Oh, I don't know. Uh, do you have a key to uh, the whole city? Sure do. Uh, oh, do whatever you want. Party, everyone. Hey, free beer, free uh, pizza. Watch uh, out. There's a car about to hit us. <laughs> and in other news, uh, <laughs> and in other another, news, in today a moose was caught going across 295 in Portland, Maine, and also we cater. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll jump in and add one thing. The coolest thing about being an entrepreneur is you get to create everything on your own. Now, sometimes that's bad when you create something that doesn't work, which I never do. But most of the time we are just being creative, having fun. That's the part about being an entrepreneur that's awesome. Shark Tank has taught us that. Barbara Corcoran taught us to take chances. We haven't listened to much that she says. That's true, that's but we have fun. And, and that's what this is all about. Owning your own business, working together, being creative, giving back, having fun, and putting out an awesome product. That's what we stand for in Cousins Maine Lobster. Here I am standing for it. In 2011, we were sitting high atop Sunset Boulevard, my first time to Los Angeles. I went to see an ex-girlfriend, oops. Spent the most time was Save. And we had, uh, let's see, we had vodka, we had beers, we had espresso martinis. That was gross. Yeah, but anyways, throughout that, we were talking about our grandmothers, his grandfather who had passed away, my grandmother who was getting older, um, and the meaning of families and those values. And when work came into the conversation, we said, well, he was selling real estate and I was selling medical devices. We wanted to do our own thing. We didn't want to listen to owners or managers or corporate companies anymore. And we thought that if we could create something special and awesome, we could treat employees the way we wanted to and grow a company that we would have loved. So that's how it all kind of started. Yeah, and we, 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 take that into consider we take that into consideration with everything that we do with talking to the people that work with us, all of our customers, listening to feedback on social media, making sure that we get better every day. We know that we have so much to learn still, but we want to get better all the time. And not oh get my in. God, protect me! Oh my, scary bus! It's not a bus, it's a truck, actually. Here's the thing about Jim. Here's the thing. So you need to know about Jim. When he was little, he was annoying. Oh. He's big and he's annoying. That's kind of his thing. So as you watch and see over the next couple days, you're going to be like, oh, who's that little seven-year-old that you just want to trip and throw in the dirt? Seven-year-old? Hmm. Well, anyways, I guess it's just me now. So this just got a lot better. Um, one other thing I was going to say that I can't remember. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, no, it was actually was good, say. though. It was, I think it was a good piece. Uh, it was a good piece. Uh, family. Um, you said you're pretty intense on training. Oh, actually, that's what I was going to say. You know, <laughs> this is not about training. It's actually about appreciation. Um, some of the most gratifying moments for uh, Saban and myself is really about treating our staff the way that they're meant to be. We're building a family here with franchisees, but we're also with our staff. And whether you make 10 bucks an hour, or you're a salary person, whether you've been with us for a week or five years, uh, the most gratifying thing to us is hearing from our team that's saying that you know they feel appreciated. Uh, coming from our jobs, there's oftentimes in sales where it's kind of cutthroat and you don't feel appreciated by these big companies. Um, so to be able to have that kind of hone in on the family feel, the personal touch, uh, that's probably the best thing that we hear from our staff, that we, they feel appreciated and that they have a voice uh, for our business. And the only one person that doesn't have a voice here is that guy. See? He's trying to yell, but he can't. You tell me. <laughs>